Time to go and pick up the terrain. Finally get out of this tiny little thing. Little go-kart. Me me. Only thing I gotta say is it's great on fuel. Other than that, I'm not a fan. And it's bigger than the Chevy Trex. Those are the two good things I have to say about <laughs> it. That's about it. Oh, and heated seats. Fans. Heated seats. There we go. There, there are some go. good things about this, but I'm not a fan of this keyless thing. Push button start. A lot of vehicles have it. Apparently European cars in Europe have had it for like a decade already. It doesn't bug me as long as it has command start and you can lock it while it's running and you can't with this thing. Yeah, this thing doesn't have command start, which was weird because I, I went out to start it this morning and uh, you have to start it manually. You have to come in here, bring the key in here, start the car. But then when the car is running and parked, it won't let you lock the doors. And I don't want to just leave my vehicle running in my driveway while I'm inside not paying attention. You know, it's Saturday morning, there might still be hooligans, hooligans. wandering around Riff and, uh, you know, still partying from Friday night and they see a car idling in a driveway and they're like, oh, look, a free ride. And they take it. It's a lot less likely in Steinbeck, but it could happen. It could happen. We, uh, it wouldn't be likely and we have insurance, so it's not like it would financially hurt us. It's just very inconvenient because then it would mess up our whole day. And we don't have time to deal with that. <laughs> I have to go in for another IUI procedure today. Yeah, we have another fertility. I went and did my part already. Uh, they're doing whatever they do with it now. She goes in after we're done picking up the terrain here. And then, uh, once we're done that, we go home and I've got to go to work this afternoon yet for some Saturday work. I'm going to put up my feet. Doctor's well, I'm going to go orders. pick up Wiener's meds for his heart. Then I'm going to go put up my feet. You better. Puppies come first. Yes. The kids. All right. Say goodbye to the rental. You want to hug her or anything? <laughs> no. You were good on gas. That's all I can say. I say good day. And there she is. Oh, I got to unlock it. She needs a bath, but I still love her way more. <laughs> we'll bath her later. Well, I got to go to work, but I'll do it tomorrow. She also needs to be cleared out. I've been collecting stuff back here. All right. Wonderful, she sounds beautiful. No engine lights. Ice possible though, watch out. I wanna see what's under the hood, see if I can tell. I know they did some work with the timing chain. Probably can't tell. It's a new water pump in there, timing chain, solenoids. It's all running good. So let's see what was all wrong with it. Let's take the bill up front here. All right. Put you down there. Whoa, hold on. Okay, so we got cooling system, pressure tested cooling system, and replaced the water pump. They got. Uh, Multi-point vehicle health check inspection. Uh, tire rotation and inspection. And uh, actuator solenoids got replaced. Uh, then they talk about customer concern. Engine running rough and has stalled. A few times they said, it stalled a lot. It stalled a lot. So they, to fix that, they replaced timing chain and balance shaft chain. Uh, they said there was a stretch stretch timing chain. Found check engine light were on, scanned for codes, found P0016 and P0017. Found engine to be noisy from both timing chain and balance shaft chain. Removed valve cover and stretched. Removed and replaced both timing chain and balance shaft chain. Replaced all necessary gaskets and bolts, cleared codes, verified operations all okay. Okay, next page. <laughs> Uh, da, da. Got the rental on there, was covered by our insurance and warranty. Uh, da, da, da. Front control arm bushings were worn and loose, replaced both front control arm bushings. And uh, both low, lower control arm bushings. I think those are the same thing. I'm sort of skipping a bunch of words here. You mechanics know what I'm talking about. It's gonna make a lot more sense to you. Here's the, here's the 
explanation. Both control arm bushings loose and worn. Removed and replaced both lower control arm bushings. Torqued all bo bolts to spec. Next page. I know what that means, torquing bolts. Mm -hmm. I'm a mechanic now. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thank goodness that the majority of this, except for the multi-point inspection, uh, I think that was it. it was Everything else was all covered under our extended warranty. And this is why it's worth it when you buy a vehicle to buy the extended warranty. You will use it. This would have been uh, close to a $4,000 bill. Oh shoot, where did I put my water bottle? Did I leave it in this there? This is mine, can't shoot. have it. Ah, dang it, I'll be back. Yeah, so uh, it's always worth it to get the extended warranty because if we wouldn't have gotten that, I hummed and hawed about it when we bought this vehicle. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want extended warranty. It's a good vehicle. It's relatively new. We're not going to need it. It's a waste of money. But we bought it anyways. Look at this. It paid for itself. There it is. Here we go. I'm going to make a baby. It already hurts so bad. I can't imagine how I'm going to feel after this. Huh. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Good luck, though. Go make Thanks. a science baby. Freaky science baby. All right, let's do it. Think of me. Oh. Make sure you check the name. It's mine. <laughs> I will. Last time they made me take a picture for you. <laughs> oh, shoot. I guess I need a mask. I'll never get used to this weird stuff. Yep. Put All your right. muzzle on so you don't bite anybody. You know me too well. Only one of us can go in. So she's going in to do her part. I feel so bad for her. She's in a lot of pain. They, uh, uh there's a lot of, uh, fertility prescriptions and stuff that she's got to take, and it puts her body through a lot. So let's hope that this month it takes. She's waving. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. I mean, last time it took about 15 minutes. But once she's done, we head straight back home. And I jump in the pickup. I got to go do a half day of uh, overtime at work today yet. They need me to help them move some trailers around the yard. And they asked me nicely yesterday if I would. And absolutely, I'll go drive some trucks on a Saturday. <laughs> yes, why not? We have tomorrow off. And then Monday, I've got to start early. I've got to be in Winnipeg delivering at 6 a.m., which means I've got to get up 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3.30. <sighs> so it's not a full weekend, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Next weekend will be better. And there's a long weekend coming, I'm sure of it. My birthday is April 1st. That's not a joke. That's my birthday. Uh, a lot of you have been asking. Uh, and that's usually around Good Friday weekend, too. And Good Friday is always a long weekend, so we have that to look forward to. There she comes. Better unlock the doors so she can get in. It looks like it hurts. We'll see how it went. Watching me hobble like a little old lady. You pregnant? <laughs> well, she made me promise to message her on the 29th with a pregnancy, a positive pregnancy result. Oh. Promise. She said, so you're going to message us on the 29th with the positive, right? Yep, I sure hope to. <laughs> hope so. Does it, did, is it, uh, does it hurt? Does it hurt? Yeah. No more than it did before. before. No. Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nopers. Ready to go home and relax? Put your feet up. Don't do anything. Don't work. I'll try. I've got to go to work. I can't even keep an eye on her. Try. Just maybe tell Diesel. Diesel will keep an eye on you. He keeps me in line. And we got our Red Bull and it's time to go back to work. It's only a half day today, so. Would have made it a full day if we didn't have the uh, clinic appointment this morning. But that's okay. They need me to come in, I'll help them out. They're busy. Lots to do. Today, from what I've been told, it'll just be shunting trailers around the yard, so nothing overly exciting, but hey, it's something to do. And it's overtime. Can't argue with that. 
Well, hello there. Is that the same beauty as the other day? Nice. Good looking car. Someone's gonna be very happy when they get that delivered. That's nice. I like how even on the steps on the bottom there, it's like a rubber step. That is custom. All right, I better go and see what they need me for. I think I'm gonna be driving the shunt truck around the yard today. That should be fun. Just saying hello. Man, I'd love to open that hood and see in there. Take it for a spin. That is awesome. But, like I said the other day, I don't touch the cars unless I have to. Just in case, you know. So this is our shunt truck, or uh, trailer jockey, I guess, as some people would call it. Trailer jockey, I call it a shunt truck. These things are pretty neat. Pretty neat, I just learned how to drive this thing today. <laughs> This thing here lifts that fifth wheel. So if I start her up, this thing here, you pull it back. That's what lifts the trailer up. See, and then I push it forward and that puts it down. Very useful. <laughs> All the way down to the bottom. And the fifth wheel pin is uh, air controlled. It's this right here. Unlocks the pin so you don't have to go out there and pull the pin every time. Uh, it's an automatic filled with dust, but we got a dusty yard and uh, obviously these windows are kept open. So there's that. This door here, I don't know if this thing opens or not. I don't know, I haven't used it yet. The window that rolls up. That, uh, this is how you get out. Just walk right out the back here. Go down that side or that side. It looks like it's just for moving trailers around the yard. Makes it very quick. So we gotta go grab trailer 5172. There's a guy coming in beside us to pull his trailer out of the dock. I'm gonna put my trailer in there.
Got the boys with us. Came out to the land, went around the corner to mom and dad's piece here. They're starting to push a driveway through. Dad got our new toy. That's right. He's gonna try to start it right away. He had it running last weekend already, but uh, he had to fix one of the hydraulic lines. Down there, yeah, this piece from, from here to here. This piece was, I had a hole in it, so I had to get a new piece welded in there. So hopefully it'll all work out. 150 bucks for that little piece to get it welded on there. Custom weld. So it better work. It better work. And they got a big piece back into the bush there. Our land's a little over that way, but... I'm going to, I'm just going to fire it up and I'm going to add some, some hydraulic oil to it yet before I operate it. But I'm mm. going to see if, it, see if the batteries are still strong enough to get mm. it going. Okay. I see a yellow spot right yeah. there. We got Mom and Cheryl here. Hey, Joe. Hey. <laughs> Hopefully I got the geezer on for it. We're all here for the show. It's your time to shine, Dad. <laughs> oh boy. Don't tell me at home. <laughs> you have to hotwire it. I'll get her going one way or another. I'm going to see him. Checking the cabinet. Found the keys. That should do it. Eh? That's the key. That's the key, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, eh? All right. So this is a 1980 Caterpillar. <laughs> Apparently, Dad says he found out it was manufactured on February 15th, 1980. Yeah, I was digging for it, but I found it. Found the right guy that knew it. And they bought the land here, and this was this cat was just sitting on here, and the owner was going to take it, but Dad uh, talked him into selling it. He thought he could get it going, and he was right. He got it going last weekend. Yeah, got that kind of bulldozer better ready. Warm the glow plugs a little bit. Get her going. Old, old cat, you know, to wake up a little, hopefully. You gotta see the inside of this thing. Classic. Oh, yeah, classic. Yeah, nice cages here. <laughs> Almost as old as me. <laughs> Come on, girl. I don't know. Come on, Dad. Come on. I don't know if maybe the glow plugs don't work no more. Yeah. The what? The glow plugs. The glow plugs. The strangle. The strangle. The strangle. It's probably the strangle. Well, probably this the is the strangle. 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 Right That's the strangle? Oh. If you try the well, this strangle. one here. That's the strangle. Probably. Oh, I should turn the gas on, eh? Oh, yeah, the <laughs> strangle. The strangle. Here's you know? the strangle. The strangle wasn't turned on. Please, it, was, it, was, it was the strangle. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's new toy. Hydraulic oil in it first. Yeah, Some more? Are you gonna drive it? No, not a chance. No? no. Cheryl, are you gonna drive it? No. No? I don't think I can even get in it. I don't think <laughs> she can reach the pedals. <laughs> but it's a strangle. They just one triangle, you put it in here and put the other triangle, and it'll drive without the feet. <laughs> oh, you just can't stop, that's all. Last weekend when he was out here with my uncle, like, they were trying to get it started and they sent us a video of it and uh, he kept talking, or my uncle was talking about the shrangle and I didn't know what a shrangle was. It sounded funny. It, it means lever, but it was funny in the video. Now I named that thing the shrangle. <laughs> That's a German word for uh, like lever beside the steering wheel. Oh! Oh! Ever 
Everybody stand 100 feet back. Look at that thing. It's just a beast. It's hungry. It wants to eat. Gazo. Did you see the big bulldozer? Did you, did, you, did you see the strangle? They're too. They're more interested in what Brit's doing over there. Ma'am? 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 I'm very entertaining. Kind of a big deal. So we're gonna go back to our land now. We gotta get our camper up on wood so that it doesn't sink. It's like wood uh, planks so that doesn't sink down. Gotta get that done now because it's everything's starting to thaw and get soft. Plus we need to go check on it. Here we are. Most of the snow is gone. Looks kind of soft and mucky. Whew. Lovely. But no standing water aside from in the tracks, so that's a good sign. Tracks, yeah. Stay out of those tracks. I have to fix that when we get the skid steer in a couple weeks. Level her out. Well, guys, I we gotta get this camper hooked up here. Move it forward, put the blocks down, move it back, level it off, and it's ready for summer. Hey boys, can it help me? Not gonna help? Okay. Gotta go to the bathroom? Good call. Me too. I claim this tree over here, this one's mine. Hey, get out of here, this is mine. So first things first, we gotta get the hitch installed on the truck so we can hook her up onto here. It's gonna be pretty simple, but it'll be a little bit of work and effort because you gotta hook up, pull the whole thing forward, and then level it off, make sure everything's level. I'm gonna pop out the slides, make sure everything's working good, get it ready for summer. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. Hitch. Oh. Oh. Heavy duty. Nothing but the best. Get that in there. Come in there. Go. Go. So that's the hitch. I won't need those arms because we're not moving it on the highway or anything, but it is pretty hardcore. It's a heavy duty. You go. Up. Look out, Diesel. Barely had enough room here. Wish we would have had more time last year to clear a little more room, but we made it. Got it to work here. Is that? Did he hit a soft spot?
looks too hard there, Martin. <laughs> too much strangle. Too much strangle. <laughs> If he's trying to learn on a place that is so uneven, it would be nice to learn on when it's a straight, straight yeah. area. School of hard knocks. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Looking forward to going to sleep. Ever since we got this mattress, bedtime's my favorite. Sleep so good on there. So at the last little bit there, uh, you saw the footage that my mom filmed of dad with his new toy while we were uh, getting our camper all set up on those planks just down the road. <laughs> he's having a blast. Uh, so he's trying to figure out all the, all the schmangles, all the different levers and gears and how to use it properly. And it'll be clear in the driveway, I guess. Uh, Probably in the next couple of weeks. So that's it for this weekend, guys. It's an early start tomorrow. Got to be in Winnipeg at the dock for 6 a.m., which means we've got to be there at about quarter to 6, which means I've got to wake up around 4 a.m. at least. Figure that out later. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.